little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. All right. What are you doing out here, anyway? Clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, then? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. <laughs> and meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Okay, run over now. <laughs> oh. oh, I remember that. We're on the path. I was hoping for some uh, funny interaction there, but nope. Perhaps I'm uh. I remember too much about Far Cry, about all the funny, uh, funny, uh, funny crashes and stuff, you know. Crap. Squirrel. Let it go. Oh! Are we close to town? Heck of I know. I'm just following the GPS. Sir, you've rescued me from the depths. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Keep that in mind. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. Heck, <laughs> okay. Time to resume the, the mission at hand. New Yorkers. Jesus. <laughs> Probably. Part where I could have a heart be down there. Sir, I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Tom O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. You don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mick. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them.
Thank you, Sheriff. Sudden rain. Let me out of here, you maggots. Yeah, you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? Oh. No, no, we're done here. Just get the hell out. Okay, 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 okay. It's that down portion. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? Depends. I ain't yet. <laughs> Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now... I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? Dynamite. Cocaine gun? Arthur's head was it was on the horse. This wall just needs some good force. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. This won't work. Whatever you say, man. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Good thing this is just like here. That was easy. Let's get out of here. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust you. You have finally lost your damn mind. Keep moving, Arthur. God damn maniac. I should have left you to hang.
tried to do behind him. That was easy. Go, 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 go. They actually like de talk as if uh oh, mouth is full. Much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I 
think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. Bye now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>